Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that you're probably going to be surprised. But I had a new job which I really hated and it's not something that I expected. So that was back when I was 19 years old. I was really ambitious, still ambitious, and I was hoping to really dive into a career that I will be satisfied. I had my undergrad still like in school for hospitality management and I set up goals for myself like I want to be a supervisor at 19, then a manager at 20, and then general manager at 21, and then hotel manager at, 20, at 22. So I really had my goals set. So when I was 19, I was applying for a supervisor job. I did not have a title with experience with that title, but I did have the skills. So I knew how to write the res the resume that will actually resonate, that will actually explain and resonate my experience to that title. So I applied at Auburn Pan, and I was hoping to be a shift supervisor. And what really I liked about the interview is I like the way the company is big, it has a lot of multiple branches, it has a lot of opportunities and a lot of funds. So at that time when I was 19, that was back in, in 2005, so I was kind of like intrigued with the salary and growth opportunity and I accepted the job as a supervisor. Now I've been told also there's training going to be provided at night and I assumed maybe because there are no customers there and that that's the only time that they can train so I was fine with that now I live in Queens and didn't know that the trains don't work at night between 12 to 5 a.m. so I needed to be at work at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. for me it was like if the trains work I really don't care but I didn't know the trains don't work so I was coming late to work. I was coming late to work. And at a work, what I was hired for wasn't for a supervisor, but was for a catering coordinator. So I was doing catering for Fox News. So it was something for me like exciting. Oh, I'm doing something for big companies. I'm actually doing catering, catering breakfast, lunch and snack and whatever. And I was kind of like feeling happy that I'm doing something that I really enjoy doing. It's in the hospitality industry. It's great pay. And after three months, I got a raise. That was something unusual, like getting a raise already after three months. I know I have to be a year in order to get, to get a raise, but they gave me a raise after three months. So I was really working and happy and then I was getting tired. I was getting tired because the job was in the city, in Manhattan, and then my school, I was still in school part-time, was in Brooklyn. So I had to catch up on my classes right after work. So I had no breaks in between. All I had to do is kind of like work from 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then go to school and then come home very late. Eventually, I was getting tired, exhausted, and not happy. I felt like other supervisors are not doing anything. They are just not as stressed as I am. They are not having the same responsibilities as I do. They are more laid back, more of customer service and, and employee management, and that's it. I was having more than that. For me, it was more than that making sure that the food is delivered on time the food is prepared the food is everybody's happy and even coming to work on national holidays something that I was turned off I had to take my Jewish holiday and they just told me oh don't do this to us you have like two weeks to take off and this is too much for us you cannot take those two two weeks off don't worry, we're going to make you matzo bowl soup. They didn't understand the concept that I need to prepare for my holiday. So I was getting frustrated, stressed, overworked, and I gave my two weeks notice 
after nine months. So I gave my two weeks notice and my, so the managers, the district manager, the general manager, everybody tried to talk to me out of it and, and for me to stay. But I didn't want to stay. And I said, I did not sign up for this. Uh, when I applied for a job, I applied for a supervisory job, shift supervisor. I have been brought into a position that I never applied. Yes, I had experience in catering. Yes, I had the skills, but that's not what I applied for. And I really had a clear understanding that I'm applying for a shift supervisor. I have my goals and I really want, want to reach these goals. So as I gave them this two weeks notice, the district manager told me, you know, we have a shift supervisor position in any of the branches that you want. Tell us where you want to work. So I assumed maybe in Brooklyn because that's where my school is. Instead of just going to the subway and then catching up on my classes. So I figured I'm going to just go to the branch over there in Brooklyn and then walk to my school because they have maybe like a block away from my school, that branch. So again, my shift started at 6 a.m. Although it's not 4 a.m., I needed to be at the train station around 4 a.m., which is again, the trains don't work. And from Queens to Brooklyn, the trains arrive around an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. So, and then I was thinking, it's snowing, it's cold. Do I really want to go to work? Do I really feel that I can handle another stressful moment? And I have been retrained all over again in a different branch how to open the, the branch, how to close the branch, what are the protocols, what are the rules, what needs to be done, how to restock the place. So for me, it's like all over again. And I'm like, I have been already trained for two months before I started this catering coordinator position. I don't wanna be trained all over again. This is ridiculous. I felt like because the general manager in that branch didn't know me, how I work, yet it feels like I need to be retrained. It gave, it gave like a bad impression that I am kind of like being promoted as a shift supervisor or I don't know what I'm doing and I need to be trained. And I was complaining. I said, this is not what I need to do. I have been already trained. There is nothing for me to do here. The general manager was upset at me. He was like, why are you complaining? This is like showing you are a bad vibe for the, for the other staff. And then started to have gossiping. Other, other employees started complaining about me. I felt it's becoming toxic now. I, I don't want to be watching my back all the time. I don't want to be always cognizant of what I'm doing. Now I'm going to be... Now, now somebody's going to slander me for my behavior, for what I say. And I'm like, I don't need this kind of environment. As a supervisor or as a manager, general manager, to retain employees, he has to listen to whatever the employee is voicing out and come up with a better solution instead of reprimanding. So I felt this is not a job for me. I quit on the spot. The next day I didn't show up. I have, it was snowing, it was cold. I felt like I'm not motivated to go there. There is no future for me there. I need to constantly prove myself all the time. I felt like this is not what I signed up for. I know my worth and I know that as a young girl, I could thrive anywhere else, not only this place. So you too, if you feel that you are not happy where you work and you feel like you need to pay the bills, you need to pay this, you need to pay that. I don't know what your situation is, but you need to know your worth and you need to voice it out. Thank God, God was with me. I always had jobs, always being hired. And I was getting paid more than what that place was paying me. So 
I knew how to negotiate salaries. On the spot, I wasn't playing around, I wasn't waiting to get a raise after a year to prove myself. I knew that my capabilities are what people need. They need healthy people who can work and do the job. Let me know in the comments if you ever had a new job that you applied for, you were so excited to get into it, and then you realize this is not what you signed up for and you feel miserable. Let me know in the comments. I really want to read them and really guide you through this if, if need be. Like this video so I know you like this content. And subscribe to my channel so you can be notified for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. I would love to invite you to be part of my community where you are a member as a candidate chat room. Upon joining, you will receive tons of information. You will receive templates, ebooks, products, tips, advice, strategies, and weekly emails where you can actually ace your interview, build your career from ground up, and get promoted as needed. You can also ask any questions that you want and I will be able to answer to my members first and then to my YouTube community. The link to join is in the description. I'm going to see you in the candidate chatroom forum.